The weather is so nice today. It's going to be over 70 degrees here in uh, the Folsom area. I'm actually at a place called Cronin Ranch. And things are getting green. It's a beautiful day. So I had to get outside. This place has trails all over. That's the American River down there at the bottom of the hill. Give me a chance to stretch my legs. Sun's making the hillsides green. We've gotten a little bit of rain. There's some snow up in the mountains. We've had warm storms, so not tons of snow up there. But uh, yeah, out stretching the legs, enjoying this beautiful, beautiful weather. Oh, it's just gorgeous out here. So let me give you an update of how my knees are doing. They're doing great, so I'll be back. All right, so let's give you a knee update. I'm out here hiking, so you know I'm doing good. I'm about two and a half years on this knee and about five years on this knee. So how am I doing? Well, remember my experience is gonna be different than yours. I'm kind of a nut, I get active right away. I think being active helps. Uh, I walk about five miles a day, usually just around the neighborhood and the, my local trails. But I have very little pain, no swelling. I can sleep at night. I think I was in so much pain before surgery, I don't even notice. After a five, six, seven, eight mile hike or backpacking trip, my knees ache a little bit. I'd say about a one, one and a half on a scale of 10. But hey, before my knees were messed up, they hurt after hikes like that. So I am very, very happy. My extension is pretty much 100%. My flexion is pretty good. That ain't bad. Uh, one bends is farther than the other, but I'm super happy. Like on a trail, I'm up on the Ridge Trail here in Cronin Ranch, and there's some downhills and uphills. I don't even use hiking poles except when I'm backpacking when I have weight on my back. Uh, and even then, hiking poles actually help me more going downhill to soften the blow on my knees. Now, am I jogging? Am I playing basketball? No. I could and I want to, but I want to preserve my knees as long as possible. I can play a little softball, and, but I can hike like crazy. And I do it every day, and I think being active is what helps me a lot. So living in California gives me a lot of outdoor out, out opportunities too. That's the American River down there. The Sierra's up the hills a little bit from me. We're getting a little bit of snow up there. so. Uh, 70 degrees, I'm outside. Uh, so stay active. I mean, if you're hurting, listen to your knees. And if you need ice, ice them. Personally, I don't need any. I'm 100% satisfied. The whole reason to go through this process and the reason I make these videos, I want to encourage people that's worth the pain. Not everybody's going to have the same results, but for me, I have absolutely no regrets. The recovery time's a few months, yeah, and it hurts a little bit. It hurts a lot, actually. First couple weeks are pretty painful, but they give you painkiller drugs. So if you've been a cripple for a long time and you're over 50, seriously consider this. Talk to your doctor about it and get your life back. I can do whatever I want. At work, I'm still working part-time. I'm an irrigation tech part-time. I do some arborist stuff. And I get down, I, I can get down on my knees. That took a while to get used to. Uh, I dig holes. I do a lot of physical labor. I can jump. I can get down on the dance floor. Life is good. I'm really happy with my knee surgery, as you can tell. But uh, I, like I said, everybody's journey is different. Don't push too hard, but uh, it's... Uh, the whole reason to get the surgery is so you can get your life back and do all the things. I have no restrictions. I do whatever I want, but I'm sensible about it. I'm not trying not to beat my knees up too, too much. So let me know if you have any questions. Happy trails and hike on. Thanks for watching.